Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Romans chapter 6 verse 18, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12, and Revelation chapter 5 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for this word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Romans chapter 6, verse 18, and having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. All right. And so um, we know that we are set free from the slavery of sin. We were once slaves to sin, right? We, we presented ourselves to sin and we freely served it right? And we were going to receive the wages of that lifestyle. And so now that we are free from sin, we are now slaves of righteousness, of doing what is right. Why? Because we belong to that kingdom, the kingdom of righteousness. And so therefore we serve at the pleasure of the king. And because of that, we are led by the spirit. And when you're led by the spirit, it is basically as a slave to righteousness because the spirit is only going to lead you to do what's right and what is the will of the father we can only receive that spirit through Christ right because remember there's only one name under heaven by which we can be saved and that is Christ Jesus our Lord all right and so the second scripture that the Lord gave me was first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might understand the things freely given us by God so the spirit helps us to understand what's available the spirit helps us understand what god has made available and what christ has done for us and and we don't receive the spirit of the world right because remember when we were of the world we were slaves to sin now that we're not of the world we are slaves to righteousness which means that we are led by the spirit and so we don't receive the spirit of the world when we receive Christ into our heart we receive the spirit of Christ right and so it says but the spirit who is from God that we might understand the things freely given us by God so God has given us access to so many things and the key to that access is the leading of the Holy Spirit he helps us to understand he leads us and guides us into all truth is what the Bible says so it says um I'm going to read it all together again one more time first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might understand the things freely given us by God. So we need to receive that access. We need to receive that guidance that the Holy Spirit gives us. And the way that we do that is through submitting ourselves to righteousness, submitting ourselves to the ways of God through his spirit and being led by that spirit, right? When we're in our daily lives and we are facing daily trials, we need to submit to the spirit. We need to submit to what God's Holy Spirit is telling us to do. Otherwise, when you're not submitting to the spirit, you're rejecting him, right? And and you don't want to reject the Holy Spirit. You don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. You want to be a slave of righteousness and not turning back to the world to receive that spirit that the world has. Amen. All right. And so the third scripture that the Lord gave me was Revelation chapter five, verse three, and no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. All right. And so this is John. He's having this heavenly experience and he sees the throne of God and he sees the scroll in the hand of father God in his right hand. And, you know, they're looking, they're calling out for who is worthy to open the scrolls, 
right? And they were searching and no one was worthy to open the scroll, no one. And so um, this caused John to weep and to cry. And and so this, that was such a, a horrible thing. Why? Because only Christ is worthy to open the scroll. That's what they find out in like the next few verses. Only the lamb that was slain is worthy to open the scroll. Why? Because there's only one name under heaven by which we can be saved. There is only one who, who we can, we can be slaves to and, and walk in righteousness and, and come under a righteous covering through it's only through Christ, right? There is no other way. So we need to become slaves of righteousness. We need to become followers of the spirit and and we need to receive these gifts that are freely given to us by God through this the understanding that the spirit gives us and and we need to realize that there's no way to get to these gifts, these wonderful things, except through Jesus, because there's no other name under heaven by which we can be saved. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for all you've done for us. We give you glory and praise and honor. We ask you to forgive us for all of our sins and help us to follow your spirit. Help us to realize that only you are worthy, Lord God. Forgive us for all of our sins um, and help us to just see you as you truly are, the, the perfection, the righteousness, and help us to come under that, submit to that by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there is anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. Amen. One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So begin to seek his face today while he may be found. Amen. Also, um, the Christ wants us to make sure that we are, um, using the Holy Spirit to find a church home, find other believers to be around so that we can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as um, go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for us in our lives. Amen. Um, also go out and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.